Well, just a little fun project tonight. This is one of your standard uh, spring clamps that's used on the uh, quill on the, the Bridgeport type mills uh, for a quill stop. And uh, I'm going to uh, follow Mr. Pete. Uh, he showed uh, adapting these to use on the drill press since the uh, stop rod on the drill presses are different than what's on the, uh, the uh, vertical mill heads on the quill. So anyway, uh, follow along. Having a little fun uh, tonight uh, working on this project. Got these. Uh, Enco had their 20% off and free shipping and ordered a few things and uh, said, well, might as well order a couple of these. I think there were three bucks or five bucks or something like that a piece. So uh, we'll uh, move on and watch me uh, attempt to uh, make this uh, fit my uh, drill press. Well, here's the setup I came up with. Um, this little tooling plate will go into the three-jaw chuck. It's actually set up for a collet, but I don't need the precision to uh, do a collet on this. And so what I did is I made a uh, spacer on the bottom, and then I made a plug out of Delrin. And this tooling plate has a quarter-inch um, tapped hole right in the center. So I made a plug that gave me the spacing here on the edge of the uh, clamp. So this will be open when it gets threaded. Um, so what my plan is now is to pull the, the bolt out, pull my spacer out, and then I can go ahead and drill and then tap or, or uh, thread the uh, internal bore there. So let me get a wrench and see if I can get this thing apart and uh, see if this thing will stay together. Seems, uh, seems fairly rigid. Okay, just took the wrench, unbolted it, and you can see the uh, center alignment piece came right out. Um, so the plan is now is to go ahead and uh, drill this opening right here uh, to the correct diameter, and then go ahead and uh, and uh, thread it. So we will give it a try in the lathe and see how it turns out. The the reason I'm using the I'm going to have to thread it on the lathe is that the threaded rod on my drill press is a 14 TPI, which uh, I don't have a 14 TPI for a 5 8 so that's why I'm going to actually have to thread it on the lathe. Well, rather than drill it, I decided to bore it, uh, but I'll show you this guy spinning in the lathe. Um, I'll try to set up the camera, but there's just not enough space here to get the tripod and everything to work. But uh, it looks a little hairy uh, spinning. But it's on center, and uh, we'll just uh, start doing some nice easy bores. Let's see how it works out. Here goes nothing. Go for the first touch off on it. See if it'll stay in the lane.
10 thou, we'll try another 10. It is aluminum, which is good. You might be able to see it over here. I've got a dial indicator set up for the depth of cut. So far it's acting nice. I think I should go put a face shield on though. Probably easier just to move the adjusting nuts on the uh, drill press for the depth stop rather than doing this, but it's fun, it's good exercise. So far, so good. Maybe we'll go uh, twenty thousandths on the next cut. Well, I'll stand back away. All right, let's try twenty. like she's holding. Well, at least my pucker factor is starting to release. Let me do a little measuring and we'll be back. Okay, time to get another little measurement check. Well, shut this noisy beast off. Uh, I was shooting for uh, 557 and uh, I hit 560. I got a little aggressive. I thought I had a little more space, but 560 pin fits just sweet in there. And, and 
this doesn't have to be uh, super tolerance. So uh, we're ready to get set up for threading and it appears that I've got enough space here on my uh, clamps that I should be good. I'll have to double check that to make sure I don't have any issues there. Don't want to be bumping them. Alright, we'll bring you back. Okay, got the boring bar in there. And, or not the boring bar, the threading tool. And uh, on center and square. And uh, we'll try to make it a scratch pass and see if we got it or not. more set up here and we'll start threading. any kind of test other than to take it off and see if it works so I got to make a decision a little measuring now well the moment of truth I think I'm there so we're gonna take it out and maybe win maybe lose I'll bring you back here in a minute well there it is um, quick to adjust So I'm happy with it. I have to be honest with you, I didn't hit the uh, diameter perfect, but it's out of the uh, out of the lathe and it's not going back in. The thread pitch was fine. Um, I was just a little shallow on the uh, on the uh, total diameter, but it's uh, biting fine and working. And may uh, I've got another drill press and be making one for that one also. Well, hope you enjoyed it. Catch you guys soon. Uh, here's a before and here's an after. So you can see the uh, size difference in the holes.
this one does fit the uh, the uh, my mill. That's a standard one for a mill. Okay. All right. Catch you guys later.